this first doorbell camera footage was taken in broad daylight. A man in at least his 20s is seen selling candy door to door. The homeowner with the camera would open the door for the man. She would then proceed to make a purchase with the actual transaction itself being shown. But shortly after, three more men reveal themselves. They were armed and took advantage of the open door by robbing the woman in her own home. Set up. We got on V-Loan. I'm not I would have, man. That's a setup. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's not even worth risking your life taking somebody else. It's so much better working for your own. Why are you still? To be honest, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. The way inflation going, if you're still trying to steal out of folks' houses and like that, kicking those. Bro, you're not making that much money, bro. Like, you will make more money, like, doing way more other, like, it's way too much money on the internet to still be putting themselves in these dumb documents because they're shooting and killing you, you know? Just earn it, bro. <laughs> The whole operation was a setup, with it the man selling the candy being in on it. From the start, the intention was to gain the homeowner's trust to get her to open her front door so that they could rob her at gunpoint. The men swiped some of her belongings and later rushed off. A few minutes before this footage was taken, a nearby house's doorbell camera would capture the same man, again seemingly attempting to sell candy. Because my dough. Do, do, do. Oh my god. Although, uh, I'm shooting through the dough. I am shooting through the dough, bro. It is over with. Them f***ing you, bro. I don't care how many times I miss. I don't care who else I hit. I don't give a Like, I'm mainly trying to hit that. I know you're at my front door, bro. I see you, and it's just like, bro, I see a car behind you and a group pop out instantly. It's wraps. I'm not even opening the dough. Suspicious. This like, what? v long shirt is selling. This is a grown man, bro. That is crazy. Homeowner wouldn't open the door. Directly after this encounter, the man is shown going up to the house across the street to make another attempt. But this homeowner would also not open the door. The men involved were never broad day too, by bro. police. The broad daylight is ridiculous. This footage was captured on the night of March seventh, twenty nineteen. Shown is a man stepping. Would you if you hit a little kid? What if would if you hit a kid or a baby? Yo, I'm not hoping to hit a kid or a baby, but if my life is in jeopardy, best believe I'm letting that tomorrow. I don't give a in that situation. I don't care, bro. Honestly, hey, shoot first, ask, qu ask questions later. On a house's front porch and emptying an entire yellow Thank fuel container hard. just in front of the door. The man that attempts to light the fuel using a small lighter. What the? After failing to catch the fuel on fire, the man gives up and just walks away. As it turns out, he had mistakenly used diesel fuel rather than regular gasoline. And while gasoline is extremely flammable, diesel fuel is much less so. Had the man used gasoline, and he would have no doubt started the house along with himself on fire. In the house at the time was a mother and her two children. When the mother saw the footage, she would call the police, who would later identify and arrest the man in his house just across the street. The woman claimed she didn't know the man, and had no idea why he would want to harm her and her family. When questioned why he did it, the man claimed he had seen a ghost and was trying to get rid of it, suggesting he was most likely under the influence of something. He was later charged with attempted homicide and arson. On February 2, two it's not even scary, it's just annoying to see. 22, a contractor in Houston was working in a townhome. At around 6 p.m., the contractor claimed an unknown man that was armed and wearing a mask suddenly appeared inside the townhome with him. 
The unknown man proceeded to force the contractor into a bathroom, where he then tied him up by bounding his feet and hands. Afterwards, he rummaged through the town home for over an hour, all the while listening to a police scanner to verify the police weren't on their way. And this footage captured exactly that. I don't wish these type of situations on nobody. So lame, so whack. After taking multiple items belonging to the homeowners, who were out of town at the time, the man found the contractor's keys and drove off with his truck that now contained everything that he had stolen. The man was never found by police. Bro, y'all applauding it? Smart? Like, what? Yo, bro. Yo, you are brain dead. However, the stolen truck was. That's literally the most basic thing to do. Listen to a police monitor. Like, bro, that is not smart. That's literally the most common sense thing to do. That's not smart. That speed have those. That's not a smart, like, it's... You can buy them anywhere. Found two days later, unoccupied in a nearby restaurant <laughs> parking lot. But Stupid. ever since, nothing else has been found. This doorbell footage was recorded in the early morning hours of July 26th, 2019. While it's not visible in the footage itself, the house just next to the one with the camera had been completely set on fire. And because of how close the houses were, this made the house with the camera at risk of also being set on fire. Shown in the video are some of the other neighbors desperately trying to warn the homeowners of the threat. Hey guys, get out. If their house is on fire. I know, I'm knocking on the door and there's oh. nobody answering. You know why? You know why I'm like, like I, I get so like not even tight, but like seeing like this because when you actually had your home like breaking broken into, I say that happened when I was in like ninth grade, tenth grade. It's a very uncomfortable feeling, especially when you when you like when they take and you gotta you gotta like buy buy it again. You know what I'm saying? So like I don't really all that smart. Of listening to a police get the out of my face, like to be honest with you, because say that smart until up in your and you feel like you know what I'm saying, like my privacy was just invaded. I couldn't even sleep at night, like that is not cool, stupid, dumb, dumb as kids. Fortunately, the loud banging was enough to alert the homeowners to the situation. From there, they would get all the children out of the house as quick as possible. They were then brought to one That's of the neighbor's neighbor. houses across the street. Far you mad you an easy lick? I wasn't home, and I might look like an easy lick. But buddy, <laughs> let me tell you, I've been practicing my you know, like, you know, I'm not even going to get in You're right. From the fire. <clears throat> Other than some damage to the trees and part of the garage, the house with the doorbell camera was ultimately left untouched. I'm no gangster. I'm no gangster. You don't need to aim when your stock clip this holds 24 and man. all of them are hollows. One of them is going to hit. House. RP Kobe. By the way, he leans against the door and tries to open it. You don't need to aim. Even knock, but the doorbell camera alerts the homeowner of motion being detected, so the homeowner still gets up to see who it is. Before asking any questions, the homeowner opens the door to see what the man wants. When the invitation, the man steps inside the house. Naturally, the homeowner saw this as a red flag, and shortly after tells the man he needs to leave. But he didn't listen, forcing the homeowner to have to physically push him out of the house. Always answer the door with your gun, man. Every time. Especially at night. Hi. How are you, sir? Who are you? Everybody knows how to raise 
Good. You need to leave. How far? Out there. What should be the What? What's the soul stairs here? Come this on, was, where this you was a setup. Goodbye, cute. As the door is being closed on him, the man forcefully punches the glass on the door. Fortunately, the homeowner was still able to close and lock in. The man then continues to stand at the door, trying the door handle, before the video ends. What this man had actually planned is unknown. What? This video was taken on the night of August 10th, 2021. A woman is seen returning home from work. She unlocks her door and walks in. But before she can close it again, a man that was armed enters her home just behind her. Always look behind you, After bro. another man can be seen. The two would demand the keys to the woman's car, and after she gave it to them, they would run back outside to where her car was parked, where they would then drive off with it. Oh, now this lame. Oh, oh lame. Ah, ah. Y'all just call me smart for listening to a police monitor after he was robbing her home. Shut the don't move. Don't move. Not all of y'all, but you know what I'm talking about. Police were immediately called. A select few. Only a couple hours later, they would find the stolen vehicle at a stoplight. They intended to stop. Yo, this video needs flat. a trigger warning. The high rate of speed and rainy conditions that night made following it almost impossible, so police had to give up. The vehicle has yet to be found. But the two involved in the theft would be found only two days later. But One like, like you say, bro, some just VHA don't have hustle, so like they result into this, bro. They result into robbing, killing, stealing, like when there's no need for. I'm gonna be honest with you. If like, first of all, bro, you going in there for what a four hundred dollar TV, bro? I'll give you four hundred dollars, bro. Like, like somebody will bless you with that, bro. Like you just have to work, work. From robbery get some motion theft. like you robbed for 400 500 dollars bro just like start a fake fundraiser or something middle of the night don't go to jail over 400 dollars don't lose your life over 400 dollars an actual sword a hammer and an axe walks up to the front porch he then proceeds bro, that's what i'm saying i would rather give 400 dollars like bro i'm gonna be honest like if i was always like i'd rather give it to somebody rather than be robbed bro <laughs> like that's just the obvious i hope everybody think like that like don't try to be no big macho man in any type of situation items outside of the house especially if you don't have nothing on you got a katana At one point, a car drives by, but the man completely ignores it. He couldn't see him. After a while, he walks off with his bag filled with stolen items, the sword still being held under his arm. Wow. <laughs> Give me $400, Florida damn. Florida would receive no, you broke. Get a job? His doorbell. When he checked the live feed, this is what he saw. A man wearing a hat, sunglasses, and bandana is standing at the front. Oh. And disturbingly, he's holding a handgun in clear view of the camera. The doorbell's audio system would ask the man to good, a message Bills. for the homeowner. And he does. He claims he lost his dog and wants to look in the homeowner's backyard for it. Once he did that, it would have been raps. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Hitting the door doorbell with his hey, shirt so he don't leave fingerprints. Saw lost puppy. He's a pit bull. Sounds like. I believe he came in your yard, but I don't want to look without your permission. What is that he got in his hand? Hey, you at the wrong house, dog. 
Hi. After the homeowner came on the speaker and confronted the man, he quickly left with no questions asked. As it turns out, this wasn't the only house he did this to. Police would state that they had gotten multiple calls with the same description of the man and the exact same story. Yeah, the man buddy. Was most likely Glasses, a mask, and a book bag, and you're looking for a blue nose pit bull. Who knows what? Off my yard, if I shoot the dog in. He didn't realize the doorbell camera could see his firearm from where he was standing, which explains why he would be holding it out in the open by his sign. Able to identify the man because of everything he had covering his face. Therefore, he has yet to be caught. It's crazy. Like, that is so... Yeah, these videos are so triggering. Doorbell ring when you're not expecting anyone is a horror story in itself. True.